Hello, welcome back to Greenwood Bonsai Studio here in Nottingham. A few weeks ago, we did a video presentation for you on a Yamadori birch. It's a heavy trunk silver birch, betula, that had been collected from the wild by a friend of mine. And if you cast your mind back to that video, if you watched that video, this uh, stump of a silver birch was in a really big, heavy kind of pot that the guy had made. We took it out of that pot, we did quite a lot of reduction on the roots of it and we did a little bit of trimming on the top of the tree and we just started to wire the branches to get some shape into it. That first video was only 12 weeks ago and we said we'd do a follow-up video. If we say we're going to do something, we try and do it if we can. So here we are, only 12 weeks later, the tree has just been kept in an unheated greenhouse. You can see the amount of growth it's put on. You know, a few people watched that first video and thought, perhaps thought we were a little bit drastic with the root pruning we were doing and trimming the top of it back. But you can see how well the tree has responded to that work. Very, very vigorous tree. So we've brought it back in now for second, sort of second stage uh, of development for this tree. So we'd need to give it a little bit of a trim back, get rid of some of this strong, long growth that we don't currently need. Also, when we lifted it in before and we worked on it for the video, I wired and shaped some of these branches. And there's a couple of bits at the top where it's just starting to get tight, where the wire's just cutting in. You see here, for instance, can you see it's just cutting in a little bit to that, uh, to that stem. So that wants to be removed now but it's been very quick to cut it in this short space of time. So if you see it getting tight like that, it's best to remove it. Ideally, it would have been better to remove it probably a week or two ago, but we can remove it now. So with the pair of scissors, let's have a look at the tree. We've got a couple of suckers coming out here, low down. Shows you the vigor in a tree like this. We're not gonna need these as branches, so we can trim them off quite easily. And then let's have a look from the front of the tree in here. I'm just going to start to knit back the growth that's coming up too much. Some of these suckers just trimming back to get to sort of develop these foliage pads. Not go too hard on them, but just knit these tips back just to make it look a little bit more sensible. And some of these leaves, if, if there's the odd leaf, that's growing down a little bit too much, or up a bit too much. We can just nip those back with scissors, like that. This growth is coming down. This is a bit too long. And then we're just trimming back to a leaf. Always just nipping these tips back, just to make it look a little bit more, more under control. If I work my way around this side of the tree, you're looking at the tree from the front. So I'm trying to, I'm kind of trimming it from the side now. So you get an idea as to what we're working with. We'll leave a bit of length on this branch. This is too, too vigorous and tall like this. This one's a bit long. Leave a little bit more here. That one growing up we don't need. As we come around the back of the tree, this shoot's coming down too much. This one's growing up too strongly. And then these are just a little bit too long. Let's just shorten these back. There's the odd little leaf that's just picked up a little bit of insect damage or something as it's been in the greenhouse. Nothing really untoward. Birch are notorious for having the odd scabby leaf on them. It doesn't really matter. We're not exhibiting this tree. It's just in a, you know, early formative stages of development. So we're not overly, I'm not overly bothered about a little, little mark on the leaf. Just going in trimming these bits that we don't need. Shortening some of this back into the top of the tree. Spin it around here. As I was saying, it's put quite a lot of growth on. It needs a bit more growth at the top here, because we want to tra try and train an apex into this sort of area here, and it would just let it grow a little bit. So now I've cut this down, it's gonna sprout from further down, yeah, and this will pick up, and then we can reduce the top down a little bit more. The next thing to do after the pruning like that, of course, we have got to take this wire off. So this wire, as it's cutting in, it just wants snipping off with a pair of wire cutters. And if you just snip each coil, we used aluminium bonsai wire on this. 
we should be able to just snip each coil and just take it off the tree quite easily. I think that's a bit stuck. And here on these branches, you're going in, just trim the actual piece of wire here and here. Use a pair of wire scissors for this and it will fall away. If we leave it on too much longer, it will start to scar and damage the tree too much. So now be the time to take it off. It might be that because it has only been on for a few weeks, it, it will end up springing back a little bit. The branches will spring back a bit. And if they do, we'll have to just rewire it again. But it's better to do that than to leave this on. You can see here, this is the bit where I'd probably cut in the most. So if I just pull this wire out, can you see there's a tiny scar here? Not even so much of a scar, it's more just like a, a light bruise on the bark. But it does mean that now's a good time to take the, this wire off so we don't get a real sort of deep wire scar on this sort of pale cinnamon coloured bark of the birch. So I'm going to take all the wire off on these branches. And this one here, we've brought it down. We've took the wire off. It stayed set in position really quite well. So I think that shows us that it's time to take this wire off. So we'll just work away through the tree, just snipping off these sections. Okay, I'm just finishing up this silver birch. We've given it a trim back and removed the wire from it. And it's got quite a lot of density on these lower branches. It's starting to build up, but the top of it's still a bit weak density wise. To help this bud out a bit more, just going to shorten this top down in height, bring it down to this sort of level. And the next thing we need over the next few weeks, we want to encourage more growth up here to get better density on this apex so it matches this. But now we've given these lower branches a trim back, we've removed all the wire from the tree. So if I turn it round to the back of the tree, we said before we've got to do some more additional carving on this section. But my main thing in the first video with this tree was to take it out of the big pot that it was in, get it into something more suitable, get it growing, get it growing well and healthily, which we have done and we've achieved. So over the next few weeks, we're just gonna put the tree outside now in summer. We're gonna keep it uh, well watered, quite a thirsty tree. We're gonna, walk, we're gonna feed it every month with Naruko bonsai fertilizer which will keep, give us a good color and good healthy healthy color and healthy growth to the to the new shoots that are coming out and if it grows as well as it has been doing in the next few weeks we'll come back and visit it again and we'll show you the onward progress of this tree it's come a, an awful long way in the last three months and hopefully in another three months it will do the same again if you haven't done so already please give us a like and subscribe to the channel so it's particularly important so you don't miss any upcoming videos on some of these project trees that we're now working on here at Greenwood Bonsai Studio. Thank you very much.